So that's threshold testing, is it? Sticking a skewer through your hand? I could just ask Ryan or Paul directly about this, but I think I'll bide my time. See what I can do with this key fob first. It's that car. Hello? <laughs> Is that all about? Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. What What was that all about, though? Why can't I ask him about Be that? Be back later on, if that's okay. If we go around the back and he's there, that's going to be hilarious. So James is interested in poppy pods, is he? I think he's got some explaining to do. Interesting. James, so poppy seeds, you're making opium. You're making heroin. No, it's not what it looks like, Inspector James. I, I just, I just put them on my, my buns. I make buns. I'm a baker. Ask about a few more things, please. Baker. What can you tell me about several boxes of dried poppy pods in the greenhouse back there? Feel free to take some if you want. What are they for, James? Decoration? Why? Decoration. It's a big market for them among the over 70s. So what are you doing with them? Selling them. To grannies. OK, James, let's just cut to the chase. Are you extracting opium from them? Me? I can honestly say I've never done anything like that, Inspector. Sure about that. Scout's honour. And who was the guy delivering them? A friend. Someone gave them to him. He asked me if I wanted them. I said I'd have a look and see if I liked them. You just thought you'd have a look? No particular reason? I'm a plant scientist. That's what I do. Have you ever sold them to anyone else? I only got them a few minutes ago. In the past. You know Kate's body had opium in the blood when it was found? No, no, I didn't. Hey, hey, that's nothing to do with me. Let's hope not. Let's look in Ryan's car. <whistles> Rob it! Robert Jengzy. This is so, so inadmissible. Bingo. Well, Ryan, what have you been up to? Be very interesting to see how he explains this one. A check to Cape Vine for five hundred pounds. They'd never know, Jinx, that you just entered that property without a warrant and stolen evidence. Hi, Jinx. Let's go straight to the source. The devil man himself. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Uh, I've got some fucking questions for you. What are you about poppy pods? Know anything about poppy pods? Come across anyone selling them or anything? Poppy pods. <laughs> Well, don't tell anyone, Inspector, but I hear that you can make opium out of those. Why do you ask? Doesn't matter. Just setting you up for the big one. That £500 check for Kate. Would you like to explain what this is, please, Ryan? 
Five hundred pounds intended for Kate. It fell out of your car. At least I assume that's your car on the driveway at Brandon House. I suppose so. So why were you going to give Kate five hundred pounds, Ryan? Jake's lying. It was just a little incentive. That's all. Just a little incentive. Not very little, Ryan. Five hundred pounds. She was a a very good student. We we heard that she was leaving. We wanted to give her something. But you didn't. Well, obviously not. Are you sure there wasn't any other reason you might want to give her this personal reason? No. Well, I'd like to keep hold of this for a little while, if you don't mind. Well, don't consider it a bribe, will you, Inspector? I've got to uh, call that's the it chief. for the time being. Thank you. I've got to call the fucking chief, surely. Yeah. Simon, Emma, Rebecca, Paul. Let's talk to them. I mean, it's going to be nothing, but... We get to talk to Emma again. Simon! A few more questions, please. Odd question, but have you ever seen anyone handling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? As poppy in, pods. for opium? Puppet pods. No. Though James did have opium tea once, I think. Where did he get it from? Oh, I don't know. I didn't ask. James does his own thing. What does opium tea taste like? I don't know. I didn't try it. Really? I didn't want to risk it, did I? But I went to hospital once. Uh, I, I had codeine and I went into anaphylactic shock. The doctor said it was um, an opium derivative. Apparently so. Uh, excuse me, but you said you took morphine in the mirror room and you said you're allergic to opiates. Aha. Uh -huh. You and Kate took morphine in the mirror room. That's what you said, isn't it? Yeah. But you're allergic to opiates, Simon. Opium. You didn't take the morphine at all, did you? Well, no. No, I didn't. Uh, Kate did, though. I thought you were trying to outdo each other. That was the point, wasn't it? We weren't trying to outdo each other as such. Go on. Ryan wanted me to test Kate. To see how far she would go to be prime candidate. What candidate? Prime candidate. It, it means the best person in the group, basically. What do you mean, test her? But you do it in pairs. One person's the tester, it's me. And the other person's the... Victim. Well, it's not like that. It's completely consensual. It's just boundary testing. Ryan wanted me to test Kate. Because they thought she was the best student. Well, maybe. I... I don't know. I just did what I was told, OK? Except you decided to give her morphine. To break the law. Well, I can't change that now, can I? She didn't die of a morphine overdose, did she? She died because she drowned. But she drowned for reasons that aren't clear. Atlas seemed to have this all neatly worked out. If Simon's telling the truth, Atlas are lighting the fuse and then retiring to a safe distance, letting students test themselves and push themselves to their limits while avoiding all comeback. Is this what happened to Kate? Yes. Thank you. Probably be back later. Let's talk to Emma, just because I want to. But she's not going to tell us anything. Do you know what a prime candidate is at Atlas? Yes, it's um, what every student wants to be. It's the best student. Apparently you get a great high-paid job afterwards. I don't think that really happens, though. Did you know anyone in the running to be prime candidate? What, like Simon? <laughs> I don't think they picked Simon, to be honest. Well, he's got too many morals, and you can't have both at Atlas. Excuse me? Strange question. Have you ever known of anyone selling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? Poppy pods? Um, don't think so. Isn't that opium? Kind of. It's OK. It's OK? It's not OK. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Why did she pick Simon? Like, why is she going out with Simon? Wasting her time with Simon. 
Let's talk to Rebecca. The uh, dominatrix. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. Pop poppy pods. What do you know poppy about pods. poppy pods? Go on. Ever come across anyone trying to sell them or anything like that? Maybe even in here? <sighs> not that I remember. That's not really an answer, but all right. Did you know about your husband given... Tell me about prime candidates. Do you know what a prime candidate is? At Atlas. Um... Is the best student. And what does that mean? It means they get a guaranteed job with a very good salary. Well, that's the idea anyway. But? Mostly they aren't up to it. What happens then? They get sacked. Interesting. Um, tell me about the Atlas mirror room. Do you know anything about a locked room at Atlas with mirrors in it? Not off the top of my head, no. I think that's a question for Ryan. Be back later on, if that's okay. Let's go hit up that motherfucker, Paul. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Can you tell me about the room with the mirrors at Atlas? The one with the combination lock? How did you get in there? I was given the code for the combination. By Ryan? Well, nobody else is uh, allowed to know the code, are they? And not in theory. So how is the room used on the course, then? It's a meditation room where the students can reflect on themselves, literally. And what about the CD? Well, that helps, too. It's part of the programme. So you send the students into the room, they put the CD on, they stare into the mirrors. And how long does this last for? Until the CD finishes or they fall asleep. What else would you like to know? Poppy pods. Poppy pods? What do you know poppy about pods. poppy pods? Poppy pods. Poppy Ever pods. come across anyone selling them, poppy using pods. them? No. Poppy pods. Now, why do Poppy you pods. think Ryan might want to give Kate a check for five hundred pounds? I really no idea. Where did you find it? Just outside. You better ask him. You think Ryan was interested romantically in Kate? I know he has a weakness for blondes, but I didn't think it had gone so far as his offering them cash. She wasn't blonde. If I'm looking at her, she's definitely not a blonde. Like, at all. What's a prime candidate? What are prime candidates? The best of the bunch. The peaches. And so what does it mean to be a prime candidate? Success. We have a special relationship with many major international companies. We provide them with our best students. And... They get an instant job. And what do you get out of it? Well, it's a little kickback. It's just business, Inspector. OK, that's it for now. Thank you. <laughs> Poppy pods. Jenks, what have you got for me? Got something interesting, Jenks? Very much so, sir. An interesting discovery in Ryan's car. A check for £500 from Ryan made out to Kate. Blimey, how does he explain that? He said it was an incentive. Apparently he'd heard she was thinking of leaving the court. <laughs> what made her so special that they were willing to pay her to stay? Just a good student, I suppose. Nah, doesn't that help? £500 is a lot more than an incentive, Jenks. You can buy questions in Parliament for that kind of money. Sounds pretty desperate. Keep on a Ryan about it. Oh, and um, get yourself another drink. Another drink. Thanks, Chief. I'm having one. Right. So Chief's drunk, and the Chief thinks £500 is an amount of money. Oh, that's not just... That's not peanuts, that, James. £500? Come on. People have been murdered for that. People have been murdered for less than £500. 
Yeah, Jesus Christ, but fuck. I mean, it's not like a life-changing amount of money, is it? £5,000? I think I would have understood a student going for that, because, you know, students, poor, five grand, five hundred quid. questions, if you don't mind. Sat an evening out <laughs> in now, Big Town. tell me what a prime candidate is. You're learning a lot, aren't you, Inspector? <laughs> prime candidates are simply the best students, the ones with the most potential. And what benefits do they get from that? Well, they get the top quid? job. Which is? Well, we have a deal with various multinationals. We train students to be exceptional, truly exceptional. And they get a wonderful top job. It seems a very simple deal. And how do you decide who the prime candidate is? Do you test students? No. Did you ever, say, ask Simon to test Kate, for instance? Oh, you've actually been speaking to Simon, haven't you? I really wouldn't trust anything that Simon Thompson says. You know, he spent the best part of two months trying to undermine Kate. No, 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 no. no. Simon Thompson, it really isn't my place to speculate, but uh, if you're looking for motives, Inspector, uh, he certainly had a few motives, I, uh, more than I. A motive to kill her, do you mean? Now, that's very interesting, Inspector. Well, that's up to you to decide. Interesting. 